A night such as this, a night when a young, beautiful woman was pressed to her limits. She could no longer accept what the future held for her. She knew she had to destroy herself before she became something she did not want to be. She had quarreled with her lover. She tried to send him away, but he would not be put off. He tried to put his arms around her, but she broke away from him and ran out into the stormy night. Her white dress contrasted against the darkness. He ran after her as she headed for the one place on earth that seemed to be designed for the termination of life. The rain drenched her. The winds buffeted her, blowing her long hair wildly. Her clothing was torn by the low branches. Her small white feet were bruised and mud-stained by the stony, cruel pathway to the summit of the cliff. The shouts of her lover were lost in the wind as he moved swiftly after her. Near the top, she stumbled over a large rock. Crying hysterically, she limped and crawled to the edge of the precipice. Her lover reached her, clutched at her, spinning her around to face him. Her eyes were wide with terror as the lover held her tightly, his lips pressed against her throat. Soon she grew limp, and he released her. Suddenly, with a, a last surge of energy, she broke free and hurled herself off the cliff. Her scream, reacting and echoing as she plunged downward. Her body was impaled in the large, craggy rocks below. Her lover descended to the bottom of Widow's Hill and found her body broken. Lifeless, bloodless. As violent as her death was, the expression on her face was one of serenity. As if this were the best possible ending to her life.